Hello and welcome back to Jarvis Johnson Gold, Gold. the premium channel that is free. Um, it is, it is free. But if you're watching this, you're premium. Today we're talking about a weird guy on TikTok. You know the drill. There's this person named Heart the Plug, who I was sent his video because I've heard that he's a guy on TikTok with some pretty bad advice. This video is called "If a Girl Asks You Part Seven, which is also how many Harry Potter books they are. Coincidence? It also says the stigma that your phone number is more valuable than your socials is a fallacy. Okay. If you ever ask a girl for her phone number and she offers you her Instagram or Snapchat, respectfully decline. Having your Instagram and Snapchat, I can see where you work, where you are, what you're doing. I can now stalk you, make multiple accounts, and keep coming back. Once you block my number, it's blocked forever. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Women, if you want to explain it to me, feel free in the comments. Wait, <laughs> so Hart here is saying it doesn't make sense. Women don't wanna give you their number. Well, the answer is that a number is more personal because if someone gives you their Instagram, they are in charge of that like public, public persona. So they can make their account private. They can post things on their close friends. They can kind of keep you at a distance by putting you in that pool with the public because it's a public account. I don't really understand like the argument here. Yeah, or if she declines, respect that and stick with what she is comfortable giving you. Yeah, like if someone's more comfortable giving you their socials, then just, why would you respectfully decline? That's such a weird, like rizless way of going about things. Just, that's a W if she offers your socials. Like that's a positive signal. So I don't know why you would take that positive signal and turn it into a negative, but I'm not the one with uh, the series about if a girl asks you. What are the other things girls ask you? Someone said, I've been stalked by my number, never my socials. Personal experience, I hear you. I, you're just talking about your personal experience as well. In saying that you could stalk someone by their socials is a bit of a self-report, one. Also, your number is just inherently more private, or at least it is for most people, because you know texting is maybe how they talk to their closer friends and their family and stuff, and they don't want to invite a conversation with a random dude into that space. Back in the day, the number was all you could go on. That was the only way of getting in contact with somebody. And now we have social media. So there's like a layer of, there's a buffer there. I think it's a good thing that it exists because it allows you to like become more comfortable with somebody if you're just like lightly responding to their stories or something like that. Or like if you're an acquaintance with someone and then you can become more comfortable with their vibe and you can also block them and get them out of your out of your space. So you can have message requests on where they can't, you know, get into your inbox. There's tons of tools to protect you that do not exist for like SMS, the super antiquated technology. All right, what are the other parts of if a girl asks you? If a girl asks you part eight. If a girl tell you he's like a brother to me, man, go ahead and uh, man, tell her to call bro up and see if he'll slide. I, I guarantee you he's sliding. Hey, and if you find out they are, bro, welcome to Ohio. That was a lot. <laughs> So first of all, there's this whole like good cop, bad cop thing. I don't understand why he had to have that like weird conversation with himself, like where this is the parent trap or something, but whatever. The substance of what he's saying is essentially if a woman says that she has a close friend, don't believe her because he actually wants to sleep with her. That's kind of the the vibe I'm getting from this because also the welcome to Ohio thing, I guess, is about incestual relations. I don't know why Ohio caught this stray, but so it, so it goes. Are you worried that some weird influencer has convinced someone to stalk you? Well, protect your information online with today's sponsor, Aura. You would be surprised how much personal information can be found about you on the internet from your full name, your phone number, your address, and even like your family tree. I have consistently Googled myself and searched for my information and have been terrified to see that stuff does come up. Essentially, there's all these data brokers who profit by selling your data to robocallers, telemarketers, spammers, and scammers. And that's where today's sponsor Aura comes in. Aura can identify the individual data brokers that have your information and submit opt-out requests on your behalf. I've had to do this individually, and it is great that there is a service that can like help you with the tons and tons of data brokers that are out there. They can even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists as well. Aura's app also features a VPN, a password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitoring, internet parental controls, and protects your devices from malware. Click the link in my description for a two-week free trial of Aura and see 
who is sharing your information online because it could it might surprise you thanks to aura for sponsoring this video now back to the internet guy if a girl keeps randomly disappearing through text you ask her what is your preferred method of communication is it text is it facetime is it meeting in person whatever she picks Hold her to that, because let's be honest, it only takes about five seconds to send the I'm busy, talk later message, and I'm sure she'd appreciate the same from you. Wait a second, I was almost with him. You know, it's okay to ask somebody their preferred method of communication. Some people don't like to text, some people prefer to call. You kind of had me there, but then the hold, hold her to that thing, it's like, I don't understand why we're creating all these rules to like entrap the people that we're interested in. If someone wants to date you, they'll date you. It's not like, it's not gonna be, if only he made it so that I had to call him and tell him that I was busy, then maybe something would've happened. Like literally it's like, if somebody wants to talk to you, they will. That's kind of the the lesson. You know, you could put yourself out there and if they're interested, they'll, they'll hit you back. If you say, hey, wanna get coffee? And they say, yeah, and then you hit them up for a time and they don't get you back, they probably didn't forget, they probably just, decided that they didn't want to. So they about to hear from me today. What do you want? You, you gonna set a phone like that? For you? Yeah. <laughs> what did I do for you to be acting like that, man? You know everything that you did. You know. All right, look, I, I did not call you to argue. I just wanted to apologize. For what? For allowing you to think you can disrespect me. Okay, okay. Damn. Hit it with the Uno reverse. It's like that Key and Peele sketch with um the, <laughs> the like Master Chef judges. It's like I called you to apologize. Oh, you did? apologize for allowing you to think you could pull one over on me. I do like the diversity in his content. He's got music, he's got bad advice, <laughs> he's got comedy, I guess. You will not disrespect me again. Okay, okay. I don't, I don't like it when dudes are like, you will not disrespect me. It's like she's not a child, <laughs> you know what I mean? This is a, an adult woman. You should treat her with the same respect you would expect yourself to be treated with. You forgive me? Uh, yeah, I hear you. Uh, what, what you gonna do to make it up to me? I'll send you this, Addy. <laughs> All right, bet. Okay, say this. Yeah, bet, bet, bet. And he's got the Naruto hoodie on. Who is this man? This is the most, this is the most interesting man in America right now. I kind of want to tell y'all something, right? This gender war going around social media, it doesn't exist in my world and it won't exist on my page. Everyone is entitled to their opinion, but if I see anything outside of that, I will delete the comment. I feel like the principal just like came to the class to speak about how we've been treating our teacher. You know what I mean? Like it's very weird to sit your audience down and tell them that you've not been you've not been good because it's not gonna work. Also, does he really have the time to be deleting comments all the time? Like, I don't know, but I guess good luck. And also, I don't really know if he's promoting love between the genders. It seems like he's promoting a dynamic between the genders that's like the man has to be dominant and has to put the woman in her place. If a girl asks you, how much money do you make? You ask her, what do you mean by that? <laughs> that is funny because I have never in my life been asked that question by a romantic interest. So this isn't something that I've, yeah, something that I've experienced. I can't really speak on it. <laughs> but the what do you mean by that is a funny response. Between gold diggers and women that are deserving of a man that will provide for her and protect her. It's up to you. So I'm putting y'all on game, I swear. I almost slipped. <laughs> it is funny that he, he both slipped in this video and there was a siren. Like the universe was trying to tell you to stop and you just kept, you just kept talking. If a girl ever asked you, do you want to hang out? Say no. What? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just playing. If you really like this girl, tell her that you're really busy. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> okay. So don't say no, right? Cause you do want to hang out with the person. And if you really like her, then tell her no. Cause you're busy. Don't make yourself busy. Be busy. You're supposed to be grinding, constantly becoming the best version of yourself. Never hang out with this girl. <laughs> if a girl wants you to hang out, tell her I'm busy building my empire. You wish you could be a part of this. And then she'll be like, yeah, I really would like to like get to know you a little bit. Maybe we could like grab a coffee, grab a drink, hang out, you know, at a park or something like that. And it's like, sorry, the only thing I have time for is the grind. <laughs> and I am alone. <laughs> I am, there's no room for anyone anyone but me, myself, and I here. No girls allowed, actually. But then hit her with the, just cause I don't have time, don't mean I won't make time. Oh, w wouldn't she go, oh, well, why didn't you, why didn't you say that? I feel like this is just playing games. Just cause I don't have time doesn't mean I won't make time, but you don't have time. So now she's gonna be like, oh, well, don't bother. Like, I don't want you to have to, have to struggle to make time to see me. I just thought I might wanna hang out with you. But now that I see that you're so busy, 
and you're making me feel like it's a, your presence is a present, then uh, actually, no thanks. If you're trying to make her feel special, you can do that without first negging her, you know? Like, like I think that the fact that you agree to meet is gonna make her feel like, you know, you wanna spend time with her. So I don't know if you have to like play this game. You're already in a good position. Like, I don't understand why these dudes are like already doing well. They're advancing towards like, you know, a nice time with, with someone that they might wanna date. And then they add steps. No reason other than to like seem like they're in charge, seem like they're, you know, calling all the shots. I don't know. If someone did that to me, that would make me feel special. It would make me feel like I was inconveniencing you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let me give you some advice. Let me put you on game. If a girl asks you, do you want to hang out? You could respond, I would love to. That would make someone feel special. And then maybe you provide an option. Maybe you say, what are you thinking? Maybe you were saying, hey, I wanted to check out this museum. I wanted to go see this movie. Oh, wow. Thank you for, you know, thinking of me and wanting to share your space and time with me. Not, uh, I think I can fit you in. I'm pretty busy, but you are kind of annoying. <laughs> if a girl asks you, can my friend come to the movies with us? You tell her. Oh, you must want me to date both of y'all. Cause I could have sworn I invited you and you only. Why is he so confrontational? What did he say? If a girl asks you, if a woman asks you to bring her friend, then maybe she's not comfortable being in a one-on-one -on -one situation or she just wants her friend there and you don't have to fight that, you know, just have a good time. Maybe she just wants to get to know you a little bit before you hang out one-on-one. -on -one. I think that's perfectly reasonable considering you're uh, a man she doesn't know. She probably gonna say you doing too much. Yeah, she might say that. Is it? We don't gotta go then. No, we don't. Yeah, here we go. If it makes her feel comfortable, then hell yeah, our friend can come. See, that's a base take. I don't know why this guy's being so dramatic. He seems so dramatic. Like talking to him seems like a nightmare. If a girl asks you, do you wanna get ice cream? You reply, no. Let me finish, let me finish. Ice cream makes me bloated, okay? but let me put you on game. We could bloat together though. I'll allow myself to bloat for you and you only. That's how you make her feel special. If a girl asks you, are you single? You tell her, never been that. My longest lasting relationship has always been the grind, the hustle. She will laugh at you. <laughs> if you say that, she will absolutely laugh. That's, you're a very unserious person. <laughs> that is so ridiculous. That's so not normal to say. Are you single? No, it's like he lives in misdirection land. He's taking care of me and kept me where I needed to be, in my bag. I'm putting y'all on game, I swear. That's so cheesy. Super. <laughs> okay, well, then why are you saying it? Hey, do you think you'd want to get ice cream sometime? The only thing I'm getting ice cream with is the game. I'm actually married to dating and uh, cheating on the game with the my bag, which I'm also inside of. When I get ice cream, I'm putting me on game and I'm putting you in my bag to carry you around with the game. <laughs> what do you bring to the table in a relationship? Um, I, I feel like people are really quick to demand things, but what is it that you bring? Sex doesn't count, by the way, so good luck with that. Why, when you scroll back to these guys, they always have like a softer edge to them and then they get weirdly aggressive. They get weirdly confrontational. Like, I don't even think this dude is like that. I think he's just purporting like kind of the status quo. The videos that do the best in views are the ones with the most anger-driven comments, not the reasonable level-minded comments because people are addicted to negativity. That's why things like the media and the news are so influential. They pull emotion, anger sells, fear sells, not- It's so funny to be aware of this and still do what he does. I mean, I think the same thing, which is why like uh, oftentimes it will seem like I have a negative opinion of something where in the actual video, I have like a more nuanced perspective. I was hoping to bridge the gap, help men and women understand each other, but clearly that's not what's wanted. What's wanted is a fight. I've seen pointless arguments in the comments. So this is after he made his like his principal speech uh, <laughs> about like the, the fight. So it did not work. If you made it this far, let's talk about the videos I've seen the most hate for, okay? So, so far, I will say that this seems good. Like it does seem like he's open to criticism and open to discussing this stuff which is important because he's already reaching these people. So shifting his perspective can help like shift the minds of the people who are already like connecting with his content. So 
I will give him credit on that. Social media when you asked for her number. It seems like most of the men agreed that it's another way of her saying that she's not that interested. But a lot of women said that they feel safer giving their social Yeah, I don't think, I don't, I, I think that it's safer. And I do not think it's necessarily a, a not interested thing. Because they could also just say no. It could be a not interested thing, but you know, you'll find out, right? Like it's, you, it's not like a don't take no for an answer thing. Take take what they're comfortable giving and then like see if there's a connection and if not there's not you see i said in the video that it didn't make any sense to me and i would like if the women could explain it um some women did some women did take the time and explain it very nicely you know which they didn't have to do because he was a little confrontational in the way that he came off right others called me a stalker corny emotionally unstable i thought that one was pretty funny it's safe to say that women overwhelmingly believe it's safer for them to give your social media out and your number so keep that in mind if however safety was taken out of the equation i wonder if it will remain the same right but you'll never be able to take safety out of the equation because because men do all the violent crime last thing uh, i'm sure you all know about the red pill or menosphere um area of the internet um i'm gonna say that i do not associate with them i think they teach a lot of good things for men but there's also a lot of toxicity i mean i do think that he's occupying the same topicality like but i don't think that's a bad thing because i do think it's important to address those things from a different perspective i don't know that he's like exactly giving a counter perspective but it is interesting to see him say that he doesn't associate with the manosphere stuff and it also is interesting that he's sort of taking the criticism and learning from it this is interesting like i do i, I sort of want to give credit where credit's due here and i definitely am going to follow this guy and see where things go interesting all right well if a YouTuber asks you to like and subscribe to this video, don't love and super subscribe to this video and turn on all the notifications. That way you show him what's what and he'll be more he'll he'll um, be more attached to you parasocial style. All right. Bye. <laughs>